Well, good evening, gentlemen. Solo man here. It's a Friday night, and I've got some news items for you, as usual. And I'll put the links down below. Then, of course, it would never work without Peroni, which I have in my hand. Just let me check. Oh, no, that's my pecker. Now I've got a Peroni in my hand. Now, this is just an update. Some of you may remember this thumbnail. This Femon stabbed her husband in the heart and killed him. Well, she was in the kitchen preparing food. After she stabbed him, she carried on preparing the food with the same knife. And her excuses were, she turned around and he walked on to the knife. <laughs> she pushed him away, but forgot she had the knife in her hand. In other words, everything but the truth. Anyway, the jurors at least didn't believe her. They found her guilty of murder. She hasn't been sentenced yet, but being a femon, she'll probably get 50 lines of I will not kill my next husband. But it's amazing how she was in court telling all those lies. Not once did she tell the truth. And that's why I don't have any respect for these femons. They either think we're stupid and will believe them, or that they can't take responsibility for their actions. I hope she goes down for a long time. R.I.P. Labrador. Oh, I mean husband. Whoa, that's a bit in your face, isn't it? Now this Femon has probably about ten layers of makeup on. Four filters, I expect. She looks a bit shocked there, so I don't know what else she's done. But apparently this Femon got quite drunk. And as she was walking along, she saw two boys on a bench. They were about thirteen. So she sat down in between the two of them and then started fiddling with one of the boy's genitals and said she's going to bang him all night, or words to that effect. And I believe the boys actually went and told their parents and their parents phoned the police and she was arrested. But apparently she said she doesn't remember doing it. God, another lie. You may be really drunk, but you remember doing that, wouldn't you? Anyway, she's got a 12 months jail sentence. Suspended. I mean, can you believe that? If it was a guy that did this, or even just said the words without touching, he'd be in jail right now. Hell, a man only has to brush past a girl and he'd be in jail. The double standards is so damn obvious. But here's what she really looks like, and that's more like it, isn't it? So has this taught her a lesson? No way. That wasn't even a slap on the goddamn wrist. I mean, imagine a man just saying to a femon, a young one, saying, I'm gonna bang you all night let alone fiddling around with her genitals. Do you think he'd get a 12-month suspended jail sentence? I doubt it. So here's a married couple. Well, not probably the real ones, but it's a facsimile of. And the man was having an argument with his wife. <laughs> Nothing new there. But she wanted to hurt him, so she said, you're not the father of your daughter. Which took him back a little bit, and he thought about it. And he went and got a DNA test. You can get them really easy nowadays, guys. And when he got the results, he had a word with his wife. She said she just said it to get him angry. He said he actually took the test, and his daughter isn't his child. She looked completely shocked, and then finally admitted that when they were split up for a short period of time, she had gone with another man, in fact one of his friends. And the husband knew the man, and she didn't like him at all, at least he thought. And she actually admitted that he could be the father. Because this man was a good man, he actually told the truth. He said he took a DNA test and his daughter was his. But now the man's found out something else that the Femon lied about. You see, guys, they lie about everything. So in her mind, the other guy could be the father of that child. And she was quite willing to live the lie. And the man rightly said, what about the child? Isn't it right that they know their true father? If I was that guy, I'd get a divorce. She's obviously another liar, and if she lies about this, she'll lie about anything. You can order the DNA tests online, and they arrive. You do the test, and you send it back. And you know for sure in a very short space of time. If your wife or your long-term girlfriend has a problem with that, ask her why she has a problem with that. And here's an old femon trying to be young. Hey, honey, it's not working. This Femon is 47 years of age, so the walls hit her three or four times already. But she had a boyfriend of 24 years old. But it didn't work out too well, as a boyfriend died with a knife wound to his heart. According to her, he apparently ended up at her door, just like that with a stab wound. She phoned 911, 
and said he's just here all bleeding and everything. And the poor guy bled to death in front of her. But when the police found some door cams, they showed her with a knife in her hand, stabbing him and trying to stab his head as well. Anyway, she was found guilty. And she hasn't been sentenced yet. Probably will get house arrest. But once again, a femon just lies. They don't care. In court, take an oath, doesn't matter. And if any of you guys think that she looks all right at 47, I'll show you the mugshot now. Whoa, Jesus Christ, that's rough. That looks like a right hard-nosed female dog. See, censorship. I wonder if this is the first time she's killed or just got caught. But what is a 24-year-old man doing with something like this? Well, it cost him dearly, didn't it? The reason why it's so easy for femons to lie is because they never tell the truth. And as I've said it before, men can be bad, really bad, but only femons can be evil. Take it easy, fellas.